Okay, this part of the video is going to show you how to lay out your squares for your purse. And as you can see, um, this row here is three squares are the bottom of the purse, and then these two are the side panels. This is the front of the bag, and that's the back, or vice versa. So see when you're looking at it, this is the bottom, and then your two sides. Okay? Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to piece this with your pen so that you can take it to your sewing machine. Okay, remember you're going to um, stitch on the outside of your purse. So what I do is I just start on the first row of three, and then I put, put these together just like that. Okay, so I'm going to take my pen and then just pin this together, okay? So then this is how I had it. So this is where I'm going to be stitching. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and attach this side too so that when I get over to the sewing machine I won't get confused about uh, which piece this blue one attaches to, whether it attaches to this piece or this piece. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that. So then this is ready to just take over to your sewing machine and just sew your either one quarter or one half inch seam there. The same thing goes for all of these. So I don't really have to show you again because you're just going to do the same thing. Attach this piece to this piece and then this piece to this piece. So the next part of my video will be uh, me showing you how I sew that. Okay, so this part of the video is I have already um, pinned all of my squares together. and This is actually the bottom of my purse. So there's seven layers here. So what I'm going to do is just start on the first side, this first pin, and um, I'm going to um, sew a quarter inch seam right down there. Okay, so raise my foot. Okay, so the way I line it up here is there's these little marks on the sewing machine, and so that's how I make sure I keep the scallop on that one eighth mark, and I've determined that this is where I'm comfortable putting my seam. Um, if you want it to be perfect, of course, you could um, use those um, markers or pencils that are washable. Okay, so here we go. And raise that and so that's the first one so then I just go over make sure I open that up then take this pin out and now I'm ready for this one Okay, so that's it on this part. What you would do is all of your squares, you're going to sew them all together and see how it's taken shape. Here's the outside of the bag. For this part of the video, I've already sewn all of these pieces together, and now what we're going to do is pin these pieces together so that we can sew the bag together. So the first thing that we're going to do is take these two pieces and pin them together so that we can take it over to the machine and stitch it. Okay, so when we take it over there, it's been pinned. And it's going to look it's going to look just like that after we've sewn it. Then after we've sewn this one, then we're going to come back over here and we're going to attach this one and we're going to pin it. Actually, you know what, I can go ahead and do that now so that you can see it. Let's pin it. Okay, so then, so that's the bottom. And then now we'll attach these pieces to this, see, 
So then the last one I have is this one, but I won't make you watch that. I think I've shown you enough. So then the next step I'll show you on the sewing machine. Okay, for this part we're going to sew all of our uh, squares together. So the last part of this, you saw me pin all of these together. And so what I'm going to do now is just start with the first one and then just stitch it. Okay, so I'm going to remove this pin, but leave the other ones in for now. Okay, now I'm going to remove this pin that's right there. I think I just went a little crooked there. And then I remove the next pin. So now, when you um, now you can see that on one side it's sewn, and then on this side you can see. Sorry, I know it's hard to see with the with the camera, um, but now I'm just going to uh, finish doing all of this to the rest of the areas that I have pinned, and so I'll show you that when I'm done.